It was a great moment. It really was. And the story is well told in this 1944 movie. What is the great moment talking about? The discovery of anesthesia. Really important. I mean, just think of doing an operation, including an amputation, without any anesthetic. And that is what was happening prior to uh, 1856. Now, in 1856, there was a giant moment. And that's the moment the movie talks about. And it was the introduction of ether as an anesthetic. William Morton, a dentist, had heard about uh, a colleague, Horace Wells, using nitrous oxide as a pain reliever. And he had attempted to demonstrate this at Massachusetts General Hospital uh, surgically, but it turned out to be a fiasco because he didn't allow the patient to inhale the nitrous oxide long enough and the patient started to scream. But Morton thought that there had to be something better. I mean, if nitrous oxide worked, laughing gas as we know it, there had to be something better than that. And he consulted a colleague who was a chemist by the name of Charles Jackson. And Jackson suggested to him to use ether as an anesthetic. And uh, Morton devised an a inhaler, a very, very simple inhaler. It was just a jar with a sponge in it that he saturated with ether and uh, allowed the patient to inhale it. And indeed, it turned out to be very, very uh, effective. I have one of the uh, first such mask that was used in early ether anesthesia here. This is really a historic relic. And they would just pour ether over this, clamp it over the patient's mouth, and the patient would go to sleep. Anyway, that the first epic uh, moment uh, has been commemorated in a painting. And it's a very famous painting. And it shows the very first use of ether as an anesthetic. Note that the doctors were dressed up in their finery because they didn't know anything about antisepsis in, in those days. But uh, after the patient was put to sleep and the surgeon, John Collins Warren, removed a tumor from his neck, uh, he looked up at the gathering and he said, gentlemen, this is no humbug. And at that moment, ether anesthesia was born. So the movie tells the story. It has some unfortunate bits in it because Charles Jackson who originally suggested the use of ether to Morton is kind of depicted like a mad scientist, which he, he wasn't. But the movie does very well tell the story of the legal battles between Morton and Wells and Jackson, because each one wanted to be recognized as the inventor of uh, anesthesia. And uh, it turns out that uh, this went on and on for years. And today, nobody really knows how it actually came about. But the really important part of the story is that four years before Morton's uh, use of ether anesthesia, Dr. Crawford Long, a Georgia physician, had already demonstrated the use of ether, but he never published it. And therefore, uh, he doesn't appear nearly as often in history books as, as Wells and, uh, and the other colleagues, Jackson and, and uh, Morton, uh, but there is a statue of uh, Crawford Long in the U.S. Capitol, where every state has nominated a favorite son, and that the statue of that person is in the U.S. Capitol. And that is the story of the great moment.